so normally the way we do this is play the last few bars exactly ladies and gentlemen this is a recap of composing in full media part 62 C change in today's episode we set out to work further with the fawns and does piece we tweaked our energy chart we added more variation and extensions and made a flying score animation which we're going to share with you in a minute um, here is the line diagram we were working with and here is the energy chart that's currently in play it clearly shows we have a part one, two, three, four, five. We added some bells and whistles here to try to keep the chart from jumping up to six and eight and two and one uh, while we varied the on off switches. At the moment, we are showing a dynamic multiplier. We did not have dynamic changes before. So, so that is what happens when you add dynamics uh we also had a lot of tempo variation all the way from very slow slow medium and fast and that turns out to be a major uh, distinguisher in our parts we also nudged our boundary lines where parts one two three four five begin and end based on that we're still experimenting with this energy chart diagram idea for example if we give this a full value for the flute oboe um, it just we can't see a significant change there and we kind of like having it we, we want it in there because we spent a lot of time refiguring where to put the oboe and flute um, but it it just kind of makes this chart look flatter we're still trying to figure that issue out and then the harmony multiplier Basically, the harmony is all over the place because we have a lot of uh, a lot of harmony in there. So it just seems to make the chart look a little bit neater that way. And we're still preserving the idea of the, the five sections. So that's what we did so far with the energy chart. As we said, we made a flying score animation, and we're going to share that with you now. So here we go
So that concludes today's stream. What we like about it is the ending feels more meaty, meatier, meat, and uh, the chart reflects that. Um, we like the extreme changes in tempo, especially the slow, uh, what we call the dose part. Du, du. And, um, and we like the playful, we still like the playful gawkiness of the, what we call the, the fawn part. So our ideas for next time are to, well, now that we've varied tempos all over the place, bar number no longer shows elapsed time. For example, this is a much slower time uh, tempo in here, and that's actually a stretched out longer part. They look short, but they're actually probably about as long as these parts are. And so instead of showing bar number, we have to show elapsed seconds, which we've done before. We know how to do that. So show elapsed time. I want to share this work at our next open mic. Um, explore an animation for more insights. Work further with our other pieces. And our theme for today has been sea change, making a, a lot of changes all over the place. Some other projects have been progressing. Good things have been happening. Unexpected things have been happening. I'm sure that's something you can relate to. And um, in particular today, Day, it was really remarkable that usually we feel like we're a little bit lost in the listening and that's why we go to the chart but at times today we felt like we were we were lost in the chart <laughs> and had to go back to the listening to kind of pick up again and that was kind of cool because we those are kind of complementary ways to work with composing a piece of music and that's also kind of why we're thinking of going to look at the animation so Thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, interest. <clears throat> we look forward to seeing you in the next stream. Do come back and take care and keep on streaming. <laughs>